Hello, welcome back to Math Time with Professor Prime, and I am your host as always, Professor Prime. And welcome to Super Ultra Mega Math History, Phenomenal Figures, the series where I talk about different uh, figures in math that I found interesting, that were important, that did cool stuff. I talk about them in a chill way. Uh, and when the time calls for it, being respectful about them and their accomplishments, and in some cases being utterly ridiculous when I get to talk about the crazy stuff that they did. So, shall we begin? And in this video, we'll be talking about Sofia Kavalovskia. And she was a Russian mathematician from the mid 1800s. She was born in like uh, 1850 or somewhere around that. And she ended up uh, living to be 41. She died, unfortunately, but not before doing a bunch of crazy awesome stuff that revolutionized math. Let's get into it. So, when she was young, she grew up in a society where women weren't really allowed to do math. They were discouraged from doing it, but she pressed on any way. And as the legend goes, when she was around 11 years old, uh, she was putting wallpaper um, in her room and ran out of that and used calculus notes that she found. And that helped get some exposure early on. Um, but that's the legend. Don't know if it's true, but if it is, that's awesome. But that being said, as she went on, she got more and more curious about math. Like um, between her uncle and like, a tutor that she had, she just couldn't help but be interested in it. But by the time she was able to go to like college, she wasn't allowed in. Uh, so she traveled around Europe until she could get into places um, unofficially um, so she could learn more math. And she proved to just do a bunch of crazy impressive math. Like, uh, and while she was there, she actually managed to get the approval of uh, Carl Weierstrass, who was another big mathematician. And um, she worked with him for several years while she did her doctorate and they became lifelong friends. And she has like taught among other things. And when it comes to what she did, just all of it's so insane, but like in a good way. Firstly, when she got her PhD, she was the first woman to do that. Like, and um, that's awesome. And I'm sure that's an inspiration to a lot of people. She, like, she, she broke right on through. And she did a lot of work in mechanics, optics, uh, partial differential equations, analysis, all kind of crazy, all kind of awesome. And over the course of her life, she uh, did a lot of research. It was hard for her to find a job because of like a lot of sexist issues at the time, but she still kept on pressing through. At some point, she didn't have um, a, a job out there for math, so she tried the whole, you know, family life thing, but. At the end of the day, math called back to her. Um, so she spent her life doing a bunch of crazy awesome math and uh, working with some pretty cool figures, continuing the work of some others. Uh, one of the big things that she's known for is there was a problem about um, unsymmetrically rotating and like creating models for that. And she continued to work with some people with that and did some pretty cool stuff. And just like with math and in science, she made a lot of breakthroughs that I think get underappreciated. And I haven't done a lot of crazy math over the years, like partial to VQ, I don't think that's easy. Analysis, same deal. Um, personal opinion, some people might, they might find it easier. But to me, like, uh, you know, there are definitely struggles to learn, but it's just doable. But like, could you imagine being like a lot of the time where we didn't have the investments that we did now and you had to like figure a lot of stuff out like that's insane and she did all that like um broke records broke barriers and unfortunately like i said at the start like uh died a little early um like at 41 due to pneumonia from traveling around um but yeah so 
Sofia Kowalowska, a legendary mathematician. And if I recall correctly, she also did some work in calculus and variations, which is like calculus and infinite dimensions, but that's another story for another day. It's absolutely wild, you know? But she did a lot. She grew up in a time where women were discouraged to do math, where they weren't allowed in universities, and she just kept on going anyway. And that's awesome. And I certainly didn't forget that name. Because I, I learned about her when I was taking calculus and variations, and that was like, um, oof, decade ago. So that stuck with me. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video, that you learned a little bit more about her. And I'm going to leave some links in the description so you can learn even more because she led a very rich and interesting life in the 41 years that she was here. By the way, 41 is prime and that's awesome. But yeah, so I'll see you all in the next video. And I look forward to it. Hope you do too. Professor Prime out.